Howdy y'all, it's Yugi Openings here with uh, another video for it. This time I got a uh, Legendary Heroes deck. I'll be opening just this thing today. Uh, I heard there was some pretty fun stuff, such as uh, this guy right there that I kind of really want. So let's see what else this deck, ha this whole box thing has to open. And it is sealed, so I did get some scissors. Unfortunately, these scissors suck. But bear with me here. If I can just... Oh. That's better than I thought they would be. So, the last time there was the legendary box, it was like... The, uh... Dragons... Yeah, it was dragon thing, so it was, um... The Dark Magicians, the Pendulum Magicians, um, the Red Eyes. Red Eyes, there we go. So this time we got the Phantom Knights, uh, we got Heroes, and we got Aesir, slash Nordics, slash whatever else they are. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. Super smooth. Um, I don't know what to open up first, so I, I got it. Uh, be right back. Two hours later. Okay guys, I am back. So, to decide which of these three to open up first, it'd be nice if it was like, this is Link 1, this is Link 2, this is Link 3, and then I could just choose that way. But no, they had to make it hard. Also, this guy actually looks pretty cool. So, I brought a die to decide, so we're gonna go, uh... <laughs> sure. Sure, we're gonna go 1 and 2 for the heroes. Three and four for the Aesir, and five and six for uh, the Phantom Knights. And to make things easier, I'll just use the inside of this box to roll a die. Hopefully I didn't move it, but that is a six. So, we'll go ahead and open this first, and then uh, we'll decide now. Odds and even. And our result is an odd. I mean, it's one. So, you know, one and two like before. Yeah, totally. Alright, so we'll open this second this third. So we'll put these over there, and we'll start with this one. Uh, please tell me this is easy to open. Please, please, oh please, oh please, oh please. I got it, I got it, it's open. All right. Still not opening, but okay. All right, so the Phantom Knight. I'm probably just gonna read some of the promos here. I know, I'm trying to get these in order, don't worry. So this is the Phantom Knight card, the Phantom Knight of Rusty Bardache. You know what, no, his name is Rusty. This is Rusty, everyone. So, he's a dark warrior with a 2100 attack and he is a Link 3. So, he requires two or more dark monsters, so Link Kravos, all of them. During your main phase, you can send one the Phantom Knight monster from your deck to the graveyard, then set one Phantom Knight spell or trap card directly from your deck to your spell and trap card zone. If a dark XZ's monster monster is a special summon to a zone or zones this card points to, while this monster is on the field, except during the damage step, you can target one card on the field and destroy it. You can only use each effect of this of Rusty once per turn. It cannot be used as Link material. So, I guess if you're playing a lot of darks, like, ah, ah dangerous, ah. <clears throat> you can uh, go ahead and make this guy. He's actually not too bad of an effect if you can... Well, I mean, the first effect's great. Let's be real here. Here, I'll uh, go ahead and send a Phantom Knight monster from the deck to the grave. Set myself a Phantom Knight Spell or Trap card, like the one that as soon as it's set, you can activate it. And then get the other guy's effect to do whatever. So that's pretty good. Okay, it's, it's pretty good Link Monster for him. Jeez, I can't hold anything straight today. Alright, so let's see what else is in this. So, ooh, Ultra Rare Twin Twisters. That doesn't look too bad. And I'm not going to read Twin Twisters off, guys. It's kind of obvious what it does now. You discard one, target spell up to spell or traps on the field to try. Uh, the Phantom Knight of Mist Claws actually looks cool. So it's a trap, and what it does is target one of your banished the Phantom Knight monsters, add it to your hand. When an opponent's monster declares a direct attack while this card is in your GUI, 
You can target one level 4 lure of the Phantom Knights monster in your graveyard. Special summon that monster, and if you do, special summon this card as a normal monster with the same original level as that monster. Um, the type being is Warrior Dark with no attack and no defense. Also, this is not treated as a trap card, and if it's summoned this way, you banish this card when it leaves the field. So, you can it makes great XCs. <laughs> and then we got the Phantom Knights of Break Sword as the reprint for the Ultra. And then number 86, the Heroic Champion. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. Uh, so what this guy does is you need two level 3 monsters. Uh, pretty much once per turn, you can target one card you control, one card your opponent controls, destroy them. And then if this guy is destroyed by, I think, just card effect. No, it's just destroyed. Once it's just destroyed, you can bring out two Phantom Knights with the same level in your, that are in your grave. You target them, special summon them, and then... Um, you increase their level by one, and then you can't summon anything else except for dark monsters. And then this guy has like so many dumb effects. Pretty much, you need two or more level, uh, two or more level four warrior monsters, maximum of five. And then, depending on he how many materials he has, he gets stacked effects. But on your end phase of each of your opponent's end phase, you have to detach from them. So if he has two or more. He's a 3k beat stick, because he gains 1500 attack and defense. Three or more, he's unaffected by other cards' effects. Four or more, your opponent can't do crap. They can't normal, and they can't special. And if it has five or more, once per turn, you can destroy everything your opponent has. So if you got a lot of warriors, you should make him. Quickly. And then you're okay. So that's kind of what he does. So, for the deck here we got the Phantom Knights of Ancient Cloak, the Phantom Knights of Silent Boots, they're all Phantom Knights so we're just going to go with the actual different parts of their names, so Ragged ragged Gloves, uh, Cloven Helm, Fragile Armor, Ancient Cloak, Silent Boots, another Ragged, what? Oh did I skip over some? What? Oh yeah, I did. Silent Boots, Ancient Cloak. Okay, so you get a couple of those. I'm not going to go over the dupes. The duplicates, I mean. Uh, so Fragile Armor, Armageddon Knight, a Blue Mountain Butter Spy. I know this was out about, I think it was when Gokies, Gokies first started kind of doing a thing. Same with that Junk Warrior. So, I mean, that's pretty nice to reprint. Rescue Ferret, which no one asked for a reprint, but okay. It's a common now. I'm sad for my secrets that I decided, hey, these might actually come in handy. And now they're, they're worthless. I'm sad about that. Uh, Kage Mucha Knight. And sexy chicken strikes again. Bulk, bulk. Uh, Fact Veiler. The Phantom Knight's Rank Up Magic Launch. Two of them. Uh, Phantom Knight's Sphere. Dark Hole. Monster Reborn. Foolish Burial. Reinforcement of the Army, Dark Eruption, Phantom Knight's Fog Blade, that's pretty nice to have there. It's easier to get now, that's the better one. That's the uh, Fiendish Chain, but it, it can't it can attack, obviously, because it's Fiendish Chain, but you can't attack it either. Uh, Phantom Knight's Sword, two of them. Phantom Knight's Wing, two of those. Phantom Knight's of Shadow Veil, vale, two of those. Phantom Knight's of Shade, Brigadine, there we go. Dark Gauntlets. Tomb Shield, Lost Bambrace. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, wrong Magnet Rain. I love that. So, and then a couple more reprints. So we got Cursed Javelin, uh, Dark Rebellion, Dark Requiem. Kind of sad he went from secret to a common off the bat there. But okay, I can understand him, finally. Uh, Evil Swarm Nightmare, Thanos. I mean, <laughs> it's Thanos on a horse. He's the horseman of the apocalypse. Ah! So Thanatos, uh, Lavier, the Sea Dragon, and Dante. Huh. I didn't think he'd ever get a common. That's interesting. He doesn't look too bad as a common. And this is how you know they'll always be around. Two hours later. All right, so anyway, we're going to go straight from this one into uh, the next pack there. So, and there's no point in doing the eh. Maybe there is. Maybe it's easier to open up these these things. I'm gonna try that the next time. 
we're going to do this differently. We're going to put half the deck down, face, 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 face down, play your cards. Now, you know what? There, two piles. Okay. Now, this is their new Link monster. Uh, this is Extra Hero Dread Decimator. So, it's a Link 3 with 2,500 attack. Uh, you need two or more hero monsters. Also, here's is what it does. This card, also any hero monsters, it points to gain a hundred attack for each hero monster with different names in the in your graveyard, uh, just, and then it just does piercing. So it's okay. The attack boost is kind of nice. I mean, I guess you would really want to play a lot of heroes for it to really be beneficial, but it's it's not that great. It's just it's decent and it's a dark. It's a dark claw. Uh oh, oh ho. -ho. An ultra malicious. That's kind of nice. Uh, and then this commander. So this is that errata I talked about oh so long ago on that ban list. Uh, it's pretty much. It's not a hard once per turn. It's not a soft once per turn. They just said you get it once. And it's gone. So that's pretty crappy. It's once per all. So it's really crappy. Ooh, destiny draw. Okay. You know, for a hero deck, there's a lot of. Destiny heroes. Oh, I'm kidding, guys. I know that from the start. They're heroes. Uh, so this is the other Link monster. This is Extra Hero Wonder Driver. He's a Link 2, so you only need two hero monsters. He's got 1,900 attack. Wow, he is a shiny one, ain't he? And he's a light. Uh, so what he does is... If a hero monster is normal or special summon to your zone, this card points to target one polymerization spell card, one fusion spell card, or one change quick play spell card in your graveyard. Set that target. And then you can only use this effect of this guy once per turn. This card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard. Or if this card in your possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect and sent to the graveyard, special one hero from your hand. This is the better one because it gets you back whatever you're using to fusion summon with. You use Miracle Fusion, you have this guy, cool, you get it back, you can play it again. And then this thing specials heroes. So this is arguably, not arguably, this is the better Link hero monster. So at least we got something that's pretty nice. Though I guess if you want to go into this guy, then make the bigger guy so your opponent doesn't get you know, free summon on their field. I guess you can do that. So we got Dogman, Plasma, Dreadmaster, a common malicious, so you don't get the ultra malicious. Not two, just one. Oh, I mixed so much stuff up. There we go. Uh, Destiny Hero Celestial, Diamond Dude, Dread Servant, Dark Angel. I, I remember there was something weird with him. I don't remember what it was, though. So we'll go to that second pile now. Uh, Dynatag. Drill Dark. Drill Dark times two. Decider. Dreamer. D-Cubed. There's three of them. This is a three-sided dice. So it looks kind of something like this. Haha, <laughs> which one will you get? Okay, there we go. Nope, bad. Stay down. Alright, so you also get a Shadow Mist, so that, that was a reprint that's been like longly needed, so that's nice to have. Uh, Bla Blaze Man at a common destiny draw. I wonder if that other one's gonna cut common too. Uh, Over Destiny times two. Clock Tower Prison. Dark City. Mask Change. Times two. So this deck really wants you to play stuff, but no Dark Law. You, you think, well, we haven't gotten through all of it, and I never looked what's in here. So may, maybe like what they did with the um, these guys, they'll put the um, reprinted comments in the back for the extra deck. So you also would get Polymerization times two, another Reborn, a Magical Stone Excavation. I don't know why you want to play it. Double Terraforming, a Feather the Phoenix, Destiny Signal, D Time. Eternal Dread times two, a defusion. Oh, I was, I was right. Uh, so Dragoon for Destiny and Destiny Hero Dustopia times two, Dystopia 
times two. Dangerous. Hey, Darklaw. He has a common. And Enki, who also has a common. Cool. I was right. Man, I'm blasting through that. Two hours later. All right. Now for the last one. This is the Nordics right here. The easier Nordics. Eh. Uh, it kind of does work. Although it's now I realize that there's a little slip there. So you can do that. So we'll do this the same way to make this easier. All right. So here is their link one. Uh, this is Gulveg of the Nordic Ascendant. She's a fairy. Uh, 800 attack. You need a level 5 or lower Nordic monster. Thankfully, it's lower, level 5 or lower. So, essentially, I think that's pretty much any of their tuners. So, what she does is, if this is Link Summon, you can banish up to three cards from your hand and or your field. And if you do, special summon that many Nordic monsters from your deck and defense position. Also, for the rest of this turn, you cannot special summon monsters except Aesir monsters, nor normal summon set any monsters at all. Not even the archetype. You have to special. Sure. Uh, you can only use this effect of her once per turn. While this card points to an easier monster, your opponent cannot target that monster with card effects. Also, monsters your opponent control cannot target this card for attacks. Which is kind of nice because she's got like 800 attack. So she's kind of weak. But bring out one of their big synchro beaters and say, come at me, bro. Let's see what else. Uh, all it does is, if this is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you summon two Nordic Beast tokens with no attack, no defense, and a level three. So it's like two of them with no no attack or defense. There we go. Uh, a dark hole. Nice. Oh, this is what I was looking for. The Ascension Sky Dragon. So this prize card's first reprint. So I think it's level 10. Uh, when If this is Synchro Summon, it gains 800 attack for each card currently in your hand. So make sure you got those six cards in your hand. Make it 40 something, 48. Uh, when this card you control is destroyed by opponent's card effect and sent to the graveyard, if all of the monsters that were used to sink or summon this card are still in your graveyard, you can special summon all of them, but their effects are negated and you can only use this effect if this guy wants per turn. And he's got a 3K booty. He's 3k booty. That's a big booty for a dragon with no legs. Uh, Coral Dragon is the other one, so that's kind of nice. So we got a reprint for him. He seeds in play up until somewhat recently. So uh, more of that one, <laughs> more of that. I can't say any of these names, but if I can, I will try. So Garmer of the Nordic Beast, uh, Gold Facts, Gold Fakes, Diverge. Uh, Leal Self, Tfar, Mara, there's an easy one right there, Mara, and uh, Mimer, Valkyrie of the Nordic Ascent, uh, so, and you also get Vanadis, Tyr, and then you get a Nordic Lights and a Nordic Relic, Dropbeard. For anyone who likes Nordics, please, please pronounce these for me. Uh, and so another relic thing march towards Ragnarok who's on that oh it's Thor oh wow so uh, I wonder I wonder if Marvel can do anything with this it's okay uh, forbidden chalice lance dress so you get those three forbidden cards uh, monster reborn I mean reborn the monster soul charge hey trunade oh I like this card too Often the cards I like gotta get reprinted as a common. MST Negate. Uh, the Fetters of Fenrir. Fenrir. Uh, Nordic Relic something something. Uh, Leviathan. Gungnir. Uh, Megan Judor. Solemn Authority. Thor. Ragnarok. Good movie. Loki. Odin. Leo. Beals this. Beals. Oh, that's kind of cool. Beals has a common now. And a uh, Scrap Dragon. So, I mean, at least the lower level synchros get pretty good. So, to recap, 
I mean, Heroes got good support, and same with some of the Phantom Knights, and some of these cards are really good. Honestly, the weakest, and not too surprising, would more than likely be the Nordics, Aesiers, slash the Aesiers. They, they didn't really get the best, but I mean, she's pretty good for the deck, but they're kind of weak as it is, unless you can really pull some crazy nuts off. That'll be it. That was the legendary hero decks here so until next time guys that's a wrap